Hi friends, I have another story for us today. We're gonna do this one a little bit differently though. This is one of my favorites. It's called The Napping House. It's by Audrey Wood and the pictures are by Don Wood. And this one is published by Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. So when we do this one, I'm gonna read it and just show you some of the pictures on the screen. So I hope you're ready, here we go. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child on a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog there is a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse there is a flea, can it be a wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping? A wakeful flea who bites the mouse, who scares the cat who claws the dog, who thumps the child, who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed in the napping house where now no one is sleeping. <gasps> is there a rainbow? I think the sun's out and they're gonna play outside now. Do you think so? The end. Goodbye, friends. Thank you. I hope you have a good day.